Hello, welcome to JFall in the afternoon. My name is Reggie Hutcherson. I am the Director of Technology Outreach and Evangelism at Sun Microsystems. What that means is uh, I have a team of evangelists, have a team of outreach uh, program managers and the like who engage with developers all over the planet on Sun's key technologies and what have you. Um, we own the responsibility for Java user group at Sun, and so we talk to a zillion of Java users around the planet and what have you. Uh, in particular, uh, JFall, the conference we've been a sponsor for probably the last five or so years. And um, I think many of you, at least a few of you, have actually seen before. How many of you have actually uh, seen this team or this group, Simon Ritter in particular, or and so forth before? Yeah, many of you raising your hand, exactly. We feel like we're actually a big family here. So at any rate, what I want to do today is actually talk about what's going on in the software industry and then narrow it down to RIAs. And, and Dwayne actually mentioned that this morning. I, I actually don't like the name because all the applications that are actually being rendered are not internet applications. They're actually pretty cool applications unnecessarily tied to the internet. But we're going to talk about that and what it means in terms of JavaFX, the technology that was announced about a year and a half ago on behalf of Sun. Before we get there, this is a developer conference. And as a developer conference, you have to have what? T-shirts. You have to have t-shirts. We're actually going to throw these out. Um, <laughs> I don't want to surprise anyone. Throw them out. Uh, and you know, it, it makes a difference <laughs> where they come from, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Carol. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> there is a. Uh, okay, I'll try it underhand. How about that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we can get all of these out, right? And so forth. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's very good. You guys, you guys are a pretty nice crowd. Um, <laughs> in India, in Brazil, in other places of the United States, there will actually be a lot of uh, muggings and fighting in the audience because of the T-shirts and what have you. But you guys are a pretty, a pretty civil group. Um, so I mentioned that, that my group, we, we do a lot of developer engagements. And I'm the director of the group. And any good director would do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the philosophical and specific technologies and so forth. And I'm going to get out the way. I have two of my best senior staff engineers here. I'm going to talk about the technology. They're actually going to come up on stage and show you the technology, right? They're going to show you the latest and the greatest of what's going on with JavaFX. And in particular, they're going to show you some applied technology as well, right? so that you can actually walk away with, with, with knowing and seeing some things that are actually pretty nifty in terms of JavaFX going forward. So let me get started so I can get through what I need to talk about, and we'll get those guys on stage. <clears throat> so it's all about developers. Uh, Sun software strategy is open source. Everything is free. You guys like that, right? Uh huh. Because you guys don't pay for anything, right? <laughs> so we give all our software free. We're building tons of communities around the planet in terms of the Java platform and the like, Open Solaris, and what have you. And we've been doing that for the last couple of years now. Um, and many times we get the question, how do you make money? You know, how are you making money? You're giving away all your, all your software and so forth. We're actually building a lot of communities that actually drive uh, residual revenue. Uh, it doesn't seem like that, I guess, if you look at our stock price uh, recent, recently. But we actually are driving revenue when it comes to software. And, and actually, there, there are areas where it's actually growing across the board. Um, it turns out that. And Dwayne mentioned this this morning. There's a lots and lots of languages out there, lots of choices in terms of developing software. Okay, if you look at this particular slide, how many of you? I see a few gray hairs out here. So how many of you are actually ex-Cobol developers? By show of hands. So if you look at this list. 